What's up guys going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Rye Beats. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I go by Rye Beats, Ryan. Uh, welcome to the show. Let's get it. All right, so once again, if you guys are new to the channel, um, I have a print shop. I work out in the garage. I do screen printing. I do a little bit of embroidery. And now I'm getting into uh, some DTF here. Uh, we got some packages here. So let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. First things first is, we got this thing here. It says hot or DTF hot starter kit. Let's open that up first. Let's see if we can get it open. Let's get a blade, huh? Blade time. All right. Let's open this up. Quick, double quick, triple quick. All right. This thing is broken. There it is. This one's from Omniprint. Okay. It's got a tub. It's got a tub here. Let's uh, move all this stuff out. All right. All right. So we got a. What is it called again? They're calling it. A DTF hot starter kit. Okay, so first is we got a, a funnel. What is this? Like, I can see it's like a shaker. See that? But how do you uh, put stuff in it? I'm assuming it's for this powder. So this is a. Uh, DTF powder direct film powder. It's certified at, uh, at um, the S the CPSIA. So there's that right there. I'm assuming this is for the powder, but how do I? How would you even put the powder in it? All right, we got a little squeegee kind of scooper thing, and then we got ourselves hot peel. This is 100 sheets of hot peel. Okay. There it is. We can put that down here. And we got our bucket. So the bucket is literally is you put your printed DTF. Then you pour the powder in there. Then you kind of keep it contained in here. So that's the idea, right? Cool. You guys get the idea. <laughs> All right, so we got this other thing right here, okay? Let's go ahead and open this one up. Open up, open up. I'm trying to cover my address here. Come on, something wrong with this blade. I don't know, there it is. This one is the, uh, what do you call it again? There it is, DTF, the vacuum pipe. Vacuum uh, what's included? I like this when people put um, um, check marks of what's in here to, to ensure that you know that it's like a checklist, right? So this one is Wilvere Hernandez. Thank you, I appreciate it. So you check all that stuff off. Checklist is one of them is the power cord. It's your power cord. We got power. Cord. What's next? Power cord. And we got the actual heater here. What is this thing? There's a controller of some sort. Let's get this thing out. 
what I'll do is I'll fold this back down so you guys can see what I'm doing. There it is. All right. Where's the other stuff? Oh, it's in here. Okay, we got our, looks like some, some straps and um, mounting brackets. Blade again. Come on. Come on. Take it easy. So if you guys didn't know that this is this goes with this the the 30 the 3030 the free jet 330 TX plus that's what I have. Um, you guys know that this is specifically for DTG, right? DTG. Can you guys see the machine? You guys can see the machine, right? DTG. Um, but um, now people are not converting it, but People are also using it now for um, DTF, and that's what mainly what I'm going to be using it for. Okay, so with this one, um, this is the heated platen. You can use the regular platen like the shirt boards, but this one is uh, heated, so um, you won't get any dye migrations. Because how this works is, it prints the colors right, and then it comes back and it prints the white. So at that time, there's a chance that. Um, the colors, because the colors are, are going to be wet, so there's a chance that it will migrate and end to, you know, the colors will start mixing in that sense, right? So uh, with this, it, heat, it gives it a little bit of a heat, um, so the colors will will dry faster. If that makes sense, okay? And it's, what's cool, what's cool about this is a vacuum plan, so it it will vacuum will hold down your transparency sheet not, or transfer sheets I should say but this is it um, I didn't know that it came with a um, with this thing I don't want to just shrink it let me uh, cut it open gosh this blade I swear okay. Okay. You know, gotta be easy with it can't get my head So it has this controller, oh, it's a temperature control. Okay. Okay. I, I, that's something I need to figure out what the temperature is. So here's the temp control. See that? It's attached to this thing. So what we're going to do is mount this to that. Um, it shouldn't be that bad. I think the only thing that needs to be mounted is like physically mounted are the cables. But this just kind of just sits on top of it. So let's go do that. I'll put you guys up here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. This is the platen, shirt platen. We don't need it anymore. Let's go ahead and take it out. All right. Let's put that aside. So, for my understanding, this, whoa, this thing, I don't want to just bang that controller. Sit there, right? Or there, something like that, right? As you can see, it is much higher. See how it's hitting? So we do have to lower the plan, the 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 thing now. Let's go and lower it. Sound like it's broken. All right, I think we got it in there. So what we gotta do now is we have to move the gantry forward so we can do the back thing. But let's just put this in here in the back. So we can move the gantry forward. Forward. Woo! That was really close. <laughs> like. Eighth of an inch close. All right, let's go to the back. We're going to the back. All right, oh, here's my other blade, look at that. All right, so what we're gonna have to do, this is magnetized, so that's pretty cool. Um, let me 
let's see how am I gonna do this there's really no specific way of doing it I don't think so maybe I can come around the back this way feed it through here and come around like this magnet like that or probably closer let me just check I want to make sure it's not hitting anything else so let's move this thing up so if I move the gantry back oh we got a good three inches back there of clearance so let's move that thing forward so I got the bag let's go ahead and um What's in the bag? It's a power cord. Power cord and some mounting stuff to mount the cords, right? So I think I like this here. Um, yeah, I think I like it there. I think my power is like... Oh, like over there. Shoot! Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the other side and feed it. So... What we'll do is we'll plug this in there. There it is. So if you guys are doing mounting things, so this is a double stick tape, double stick, one-sided tape, and it has these little loops in there. So they gave you um, these straps. If I can open it. It's like a Velcro strap. What? Dang it. Oh, got my blade here. Ah. So the idea of this is, you know, you feed it through right there and you strap it down. So I think I'm gonna put it on this side here. Kind of do that. Do that like that. Like that, like that. In. All right, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and plug it in and power it up. Hopefully I did this right. All right, so MOT, moment of truth. Let's go move the gantry back. Let's see if it's gonna hit it. We're good. We're good. All right, so it's plugged in. What we're gonna do now is turn the fan on. It has a switch back here. You guys hear that? So what you guys can't see, of course, is these holes are perforated, 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 whatever. So technically, it's supposed to suck, which it is doing. Hold the hold the paper down, so it won't move. Because if you have it on the other one, which is this one, it'll slide around. That's how we people put tape hold it down but this one you don't have to do it okay that's pretty cool now let's turn this thing on so right now it's on run and I don't know what this is timer okay we don't need to put the timer on there let's go back to zero there it is Oops. 9, 10, 11, 12, 0. So let's go to our temp. That's a little high. So what we want to do is go down to maybe 30, 35. This is the heating element, right? So maybe 35. 35? 35? 35 should be good. Ooh, I can feel it. It is get, it is definitely getting warm. The, this platen uh, does two things, right? One is definitely holding down the the transfer paper down so it won't move around while you're you're printing. The other thing is it does um, it'll heat up your um, your 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 print. So like I said, it's 
since we're doing DTF, it's backwards, right? We're printing the color first, and then we're printing the under base, right? So when you're printing the color, what it does is it's it's heating up those colors. It's kind of I don't want to say drying or curing them because it's not doing that, but it is drying them in in a sense that so when you put the other colors on top, like the white, it will not bleed. Or if you have um, two colors together like this, side by side, it will not bleed into each other. Um, that's the ideal purpose of this. And that's it, that's how you install it. Now it's on to some prints. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's try to print something. Cool, you guys do with that, let's go print something. Since we changed the elevation, we'll make sure that, make sure the height's correct, right? We don't want to, we want the gantry to bang up against the thing. Auto height correction. All right, here we go. I know it's kind of hard to see, but we'll speed it up. Sorry about that, camera died. I have to change the battery. But it's still going. It looks good. I was able to put to open that thing, so I uh, had to get a, like a little wrench. So what I gotta do is just pour it right over. Show you guys. Close that lid. All I have to do now is rock this thing back and forth. So it's a little yellow, you guys see that? I'm still working on the, the details of it, but um, let's go ahead and test that. Here's my test shirt. Uh, we have this at 325, about 20 seconds. I made some other test shirts already, but let's see how this one would look like with the um, with the Omni or with that heating element. Yeah, just stick it on there. There we go. Remember this is a cold peel. Even if it says a hot peel, I usually do a cold peel. Wait for it. Let's wait for it. All right, let's check it out. There it goes. There it is. Let's go ahead and do another press. Just set it.
there it is. Boom. Looks super dope. Looks cool. I like it. All right, well, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just me uh, testing out my new toy back there. And uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.